What's up guys, Bloodshed here, bringing you a Diablo patch 2.7.1 season 24 PTR update video. Oof. I've been getting a lot of questions on stream today about what I think about the patch, so I thought I would do a quick video and let all you guys know, kind of put it in a nice cohesive format. Developers note, based on the feedback we received, we wanted to improve balance across all classes and increase the diversity of ethereals and ensure each ethereal conveys its own unique identity. For Crusader, they changed Astrin's Iron Ward. They added plus one maximum damage per Paragon level up to 800. So nobody was really using this, so now it does elevate the item a little bit, which is a good thing. Uh, this one I like tremendously, Calm's Will. They added an affix, killing an enemy reduces the cooldown of Steed Charge by one second. So they almost, this is like the first time I think that they actually added a class specific affix to an ethereal. This is basically the Norvald set that we used to speed farm, put on an ethereal. So now you can use this. Uh, I would definitely use this ethereal over Norvald set now, especially for speed farming, as you not only get this affix on a one-handed weapon, now you get to use whatever shield you want to kind of pair with it. This one's gonna blow your mind, all right? Demon Hunter, Bariza, added an affix to it. Hits against frozen enemies are always critical hits. So if you don't know, the Bariza Ethereal has a 35% chance to freeze. So things are frozen a lot. So now you're getting like these perma crits all the time and it elevates God DH and anybody else that uses it. The only other build though really that I can think of, let me know in the comments below if you guys think of anything. Um, like N6, M4, Natalia, stuff like that could probably get some use out of it. Maybe Lawn Rapid Fire could really crush it with this item. They also buffed Doom Slinger, added an affix, killing an elite pack increases movement speed by 30%, so you can use this more for speeds. But the another big one, right? It's just like after another, boom, boom, boom. They did. This is a really good patch if you can't tell by my excitement level. Wind Force added an affix. They added maximum discipline and resource cost reduction to the Wind Force. So Wind Force is gonna be best in slot for Unhallowed Essence, so UEDH, really good. I'm gonna test this tomorrow on stream. I didn't have time today. This is what it looks like right here. It's basically a juiced up Yang's Recurve Bow now because it has the max discipline, it has the reduced resource cost, and it has the extra elevated damage and stats that an ethereal has altogether, the movement speed. This is gonna be BIS for God DH as well, for speed farming, for bounties, for T16, low level GRs, and then obviously BIS for UE DH as well. Pretty insane all around. Monks, they buffed the cutthroat. They added an affix, consecutive hits increase the damage by 10% up to 100%. They added this to a few different ethereals and I swear it doesn't do anything. Like it, it's either bugged or it's additive, it's, it's hard to notice. Now I could be wrong, I need to do more research on it, but it doesn't have that same impact that like the Paragon affix has and the other ones seem to feel like. Really quick, if you guys could take a second and like the video, it would help me out tremendously as it does boost the video in the YouTube algorithm, so thank you very much. Shadow Killer added an affix to reduce the damage of enemies hit by 25% for five seconds. So this affix reduces the damage of enemies. So this is basically like for Z-Monk. There is a mirror affix for Barb. So now Barb has one and then now Monk has one. So they both can reduce the damage for the whole group for five seconds. The Soul Harvest reduced the value of maximum essence from 45 to 50 to nine to 12. So this might take a hit for Poison Scythe, Melee Mancer, we have to see and then affix removed critical hit damage. So this kind of got nerfed a little bit, um, but I don't know how severe it is. They did wipe the leaderboard and it looks like um, there was a 122 clear with 1267 Paragon. So it still looks like it's performing pretty well across the board, but maybe not as buck wild as it was previously. So they did something interesting with Witch Doctors. They removed the skill damage to all of them, but then they added 200% in a more specific way. So you get 200% to decay skills, the ghost flame 200% to secondary skills, so like fire bats for instance, and the gid bin 200% to voodoo skills. So I had to kind of test it and see how it goes, but it looks like a buff across the board and more specific. So if you're playing Witch Doctor, you probably have to farm a specific ethereal instead of just using whatever one you get with whatever stats or whatever, because it 
it's very specific now, right? All voodoo skills. If you get the gid bin and you're not playing voodoo skills, it's basically trash now. So if this was Diablo 4 or like a future ARPG, I'd be so upset because I hate these like so specific items that you have to use. I like more of the sandboxy play style. But since it's just, you know, one season, it's just a fun theme that it doesn't bother me whatsoever. But man, if this was D4, I'd be writing a letter, okay? Just so you know. Wizard, the Oculus added an affix. So the Oculus was already doing really well. And now with this extra affix of reducing the damage of enemies, um, it's even better, right? So it's good. It's going to be less damage to you. And if you're playing in a group, you know, less damage for the entire squad. Wizard Spike added an affix, consecutive hits, increase the damage by 10% up to 100. Again, I don't really notice this, but it needs more testing. Before we get into the next part, uh, I just want to tell you the answer or tell you what's going to come. Basically, they nerfed Lawn Wave of Light and they put all the damage from the items onto the Inna set. So Inna's is basically unchanged. If anything, it's a very small buff. And Lawn got, went from like S plus tier to like maybe A tier currently. That's just my first impression, just playing it today on the PTR after the patch. Mystic Ally updates. Earth Ally ability now works with Enforcer Gem, so now you can use Earth if you want. I, I still believe that it's not the best one. Mystic Ally leashing radius has been reduced. Basically, it's a nice quality of life change. They follow you way faster now. Like, like, they're, like the leash, the distance in which they move with you um, is greatly improved, and it did help when I was pushing today. So the leaderboard was completely wiped again from scratch. You can see there's like not that many people on it. Um, again, we did a 115 with the same parameters as our previous video, 25 gem levels, 800 Paragon, just pretty much crushed it the same. So the power seems to be in line with what it used to be. It's just allocated toward the set now, which you'll see here. Adjusted attack speed interaction with Mystic Ally. We've adjusted the Mystic Ally leash to be shorter, which should help make Mystic Allies more effective. We also addressed issues where some Mystic Allies did not benefit from attack speed and Enforcer Gem. Perfect. So far, so good, man. I'm liking these changes. So you can see here's the crudest boots. Um, the damage went from 400 to 200, basically. This is a nice quality of life change in a small way. So uh, I've been gearing all the characters on the PTR and getting a uh, the range is from 300 to 400%, right? So that's like 100 possible outcomes. Now the range is 150 to 200. That's like 50 possible outcomes or whatever the number is. It's like half of the size. So to get a GG item is a lot easier now, which I don't know if it was intended or not, but yeah. Binding of the Lesser God was 400 also, just like Crudus Boots. Now it's 200. And again, it's a lot easier to get an Ancient, but they did take that damage from the items from the Lawn build and they cut it in half and they put that damage onto the Inna set and you'll see here shortly. Rabbit Strike, adjusted the Rabbit Strike interaction with Crudus Boots and Bindings for Mystic Ally buffs. We enjoyed watching players discover the buffed Laud Wave of Light build during the PTR, but it was too strong due to an unintended interaction with Rabbit Strike. So they didn't intend it, obviously. We've moved some of the power from the Crudus Boots and the Binding to the items of the Inna's Mantra six piece bonus. Rabbit Strike no longer benefits from split fire allies either. Oh yeah, I think I missed it. So in a six piece went from 950 to 3000. So it seems bonkers, but it's not that much different since the other multipliers got cut down. Yeah, it's 3000 per mystic ally now. Removed Carlos's sword from the Kanai's cube. Carlos says hi. Carlos's sword was like the affix where you get like one damage per point of paragon up to 800. Basically, this was a cube recipe that they took away. Fixed several legendary powers that were rolling incorrect versions of ethereals. So a lot of the necromancer powers were wrong and they went ahead and adjusted all those. Some typos were fixed. This is really cool. Fixed a bug where ethereals did not benefit from barbarian weapon master, necro, dark, dark reaping, and demon hunter archery. So now you can use weapon master and archery and stuff like that. As before, ethereals had their own kind of class it looked like and they weren't affected by those passives but now it works we tested it and it works great actually fixed a bug that allowed kadala to give ethereals i don't know what savage was rolling blood shards on the ptr but somebody found out and they fixed it which is good that's a good thing fixed the bug where ethereals did not benefit from barb weapon master they said that removed 
heavenly strength. Oh, this was so annoying. I'm glad they patched it. Removed heavenly strength from passives that can roll on crusader ethereals because all the ethereals are one-hander. So it was really dumb, right? So that's cool that they fixed it. Updated the glow effect behind the name on tooltips. Okay. Fixed a bug causing Inna's mantra to not be listed on the solo monk leaderboard. So you couldn't even see the monk leaderboard with Inna's. It was bugged, so now it's fixed. That's a good thing. Fixed a bug that allowed more mystic allies to spawn. So if you hadn't seen this like before, you can there was a bug where you can have like unlimited allies. I don't know what the number was. It was crazy. <laughs> this is a screenshot of what it looked like. It was it was yeah. So that was why people were pushing high too. Another money shot for you guys, the actual freaking undead army from like Game of Thrones or something like that. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the PTR update video. It's been fun testing everything. We got at least one week left on the PTR, so we gotta get all this testing, get all the builds done, so I can upload the written guides and put them on the website. For those of you that don't know, I have a Diablo build website where you can click on all kinds of stuff for tier lists and bounty builds, speed build, push builds. We also have a variety channel here. Um, tons of Let's Plays. I just played through Days Gone not too long ago. It was one of my favorite games ever now. I love it. But that's going to be all for me today. Really appreciate you guys watching the video, supporting. Hopefully you like this update. Thanks for watching. This is Bloodshed and I'm out of here. Peace.